Hey folks, I uh, had a comment on one of the YouTube videos because uh, a guy couldn't work out how to get the Verpal software correctly installed and uh, couldn't seem to work it out. So not everyone's computer literate, so uh, let's help people out. Alright, first up, fire up your web browser. Um, use either Firefox, Opera, whatever whatever tickles your fancy like. And navigate to verpal-controls.eu. This is the main Verpal uh, home page. And we're going to get the software here. So we'll go to Downloads, Software. And then just click the Download button. That's a pretty small download, so it's done quite quickly. Right, uh, next up, I'm going to create a folder. Uh, I'm going to use a, one of my, uh, I'm going to use the same drive I store my games on. So I'll just right click, new folder, just type in VPC, hit enter, and I'll double click in there. And I'll go to my download folder where the download has been extracted. There we go, there's our VPC. Uh, the, the, the name of the file is quite nice. It says 2009 which is January 09. So that's the uh, date the software was released. I, uh, I use 7Z for my uh, compression needs. So I'll just right click on it and I'll go 7Z extract. Uh, if you don't have WinR, uh, Win uh, Zip or whatever else installed, um, you can probably just use Explorer Zip Extractor. What I'll do is I'll go inside this, double click on it. This is all the stuff that is the VPC software. I'm just going to select all the files and folders within here, click in, and then go on left control A. I'm going to use left control X to cut. And I'll just click into my target folder here, my VPC folder. I'll go left control V to paste it in. Let's go yes. And there you have it. That is all the software and the folder where I want to use it. One other thing I might want to do in here is create a desktop shortcut. So we'll just left click on this, then right click, go down to send to, and then go desktop create shortcut. Yeah, there we go. There's my desktop shortcut for it. There is one other thing I would recommend you do, and do this every time you extract a new version out. This file here, vpcjoysetup.ini, if you left click, right click, and go edit. This little configuration line here, reset Windows calibrations, that's equals one. Delete the one and set it to zero. And then save it back. Uh, the reason why you do that, and I recommend you do it, is because every time you make a configuration change, I'll just quickly show you what that means. Just run the software. Now, whenever I select a device or when the software first loads up, we'll just select this. See this download thing that's happening? What it's actually doing is it's downloading the configuration from the device itself and loading it into this program, the VPC software. Now, if I were to change something in here, and then what I obviously have to do after I make a change is I have to save that information back to the device. I click this button. If that uh, reset Windows calibration is set to 1, every time I do this and click this button, it'll create a new joystick ID. And that's how Windows identifies the joysticks, which basically means that anytime I muck around in here and change something, every time I click save, it's going to create a new ID. Now, if I've already created bindings, for example, in DCS for my joystick or device throttle, whatever it happens to be, the VPC device, if I have that set to one, every time I click this save, it's going to screw me because it's going to re-change re the ID the joystick uses, and those bindings I've created in that game will not work anymore. So that's why I recommend every time you download a new version, make sure before you run it and change anything in this program, you go and set that um, reset Windows calibration to zero. It'll make your life so much easier. And that's pretty much it. That's how to get the software up and running and get it installed. I hope this helps.